Today this is uh, an assembly of T6, a 6 meter leg length tetra float. So what should happen today is that this structure will glide about the car park gracefully as if it was floating on water. And our objective here is to demonstrate that it's no problem at all to control the yaw position of this platform. Most people, when they first encounter Tetrafloat, assume there's going to be a difficulty in making the wind turbine point into the wind. But if you have two ropes at the front and you're able to make one shorter and one longer, and you're able to do that under control, then you can point the platform really quite well. In fact, more quickly than you can point it with a yaw bearing. Uh, I'm quite pleased with how it's gone so far. I'm looking at my, my team here. We've got five hours left in the day. <laughs> they didn't flinch at that. Uh, and there should be no problem to make it work well inside uh, five hours. As you can see, we've now fitted the wheels to the bottom of the touch flight structure. Unfortunately, some cars managed to park here despite it being coned off. You can tie it around the frame. So these safety lines are just in case something, you know, it was a very strong gust of wind or something slipped before we've got all of the safety cables in place properly. The boxes on the front are winches, which are going to be connected to two lengths of long rope harnessing the structure. So by bringing in or pushing out rope with those winches, we'll be able to adjust the angle of the whole structure relative to the prevailing current, which in this case is of course the slope of the car park. Port, 10 degrees. Port, 10 degrees. Okay, so here's the situation. The wind is blowing steadily and then some current comes along that pulls the turbine in the wrong direction, as in that way. And then after a small pause, Andrew, if you would let that one out. In on this side, out. Out on that side. And we need lots of tension as well. All right, the wind is blowing in the correct direction. The wind turbine is aligned and a current arises that orients the platform incorrectly. and the yawing system corrects for that. I can't do both of them at once. Okay, it's probably, I wonder whether that's... If they fail to operate simultaneously, Andrew, you just pull. A current comes along and disorients the platform. And we correct. Good. Okay, I'm just going to call for starboard and port. When it's port, you pull, and when it's starboard, I'll pull. Port, 10 degrees. Starboard, 10 degrees. How long do you want to give it to try the controller? Let's put it on. This is an automatic control system. Ordinarily on a wind turbine, there's a sensor which tells you which direction the wind is coming from. And the wind turbine yaw system points the turbine towards the wind. We're using an Arduino, which is a small controller, and an IMU, inertial measurement unit, uh, which has a sensor that knows where the Earth's magnetic field is and it's going to try and adjust itself to be at the right angle and it's going to be pulling one winch and letting out the other winch. Stand clear? Just let it do its thing for the moment. Okay. We uh, we'll tell a good story. Yeah. Okay. 
We've got to take it down. We just found some issue with the automatic controller. We saw the controller was working. We saw that we could do it manually. And something very strange was happening with the circuits that we haven't quite bottomed out. So the light is failing. Uh, we've got to take it down. But we've proven, in my view, all of the key elements to this, even though they didn't all work at the same time. I'm absolutely delighted. I think that was a really good show.